Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an error in your Windows computer that says the specified resource name cannot be found in the image file. This should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the start menu, left click on the start button one time, type in services, best match to come back with services right about desktop app, left click on that one time. Now you want to scroll down to get to Windows Backup, right here, double click on it. You want to set the startup type here to disabled, so click inside this drop down menu, select disabled. If service status is currently running, you want to click on stop and then left click on apply and OK. Once you just restart your computer and hopefully that should be able to resolve the problem. Now if you're still experiencing an issue, something we could try here if we close out of here, would be to go into the registry editor and go ahead and modify the values of the Windows backup. So we're going to go into the registry editor here. We were going to make a backup of the registry editor. If that's a little ironic for you, it is. So we're going to go into the registry editor. So once you start typing that into the start menu, best match should come back with registry editor. Right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before we make any changes to the registry editor, you want to go ahead up to the file tab up in the top left. Left click on it one time. Left click on export. Now save this as whatever you want. Usually naming it whatever date that you're creating the backup is probably the smartest move and then just save it to a location that you'll be able to easily access it like your desktop for example and then just left click on save and then if you ever needed to go back in if you made a mistake and you wanted to reverse it you can go into file and then import and then you just would import the file back in. Pretty straightforward. So once you've done that there's going to be two registry keys we're going to be modifying here. So in order to access it, we're going to expand the H key local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand H key local machine. Do the same thing for the software folder now. Now you want to go do the same thing for Microsoft. And now scroll down to Windows. Expand Windows. And now you expand the current version here. And now you want to go left click on Windows Backup. So it should be a little bit further down on this list here. Left click on that. So once you are on the Windows Backup folder, just left click on that one time. On the right side on the right panel here, there should be a couple D word values, the valid config as well as the valid system image backup. If you do not see these items in here, you just would want to right click in a blank area on the right panel. Left click on new and then left click on D word 32 bit value. At this point, you just would name it exactly what you see on my screen here. So, again, valid config as well as valid system image backup. I'm just going to delete the one entry I just created there as an example. So, again, it was a D Word 32 bit value. And now you want to modify the value data here. So, it says zero for both of them right over here. We want to go ahead and change it to zero. So, if it's currently set at one or something, we're going to just double click on each one of them. Make sure value data is set to zero and the base should be hexadecimal by default. Left click on OK. Do the same thing for the valid system image backup. Make sure that's set at zero. Left click on OK. Restart your computer and hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.